brought it back to the people and, and he, you know, was very good and loyal to his constituents, whatever you may say about his, his practices outside of the office or even his record as mayor. I don't think PKP has that. And I, and I think that's actually what Donald Trump is really lacking, too. And if you want to make that comparison of, of the anti-politician politician, yeah. it, it, it's really easy to say you're that guy, but, but unless you're really connecting with, for lack of a better word, the, the average, you know, Joe's plumber guy or, or, or Main Street, uh, as they like to say, I don't think it really works. And, and in Pierre Paul, Carl Paladin's case, I think he, he tries to be that guy, but it's really hard when you're a billionaire. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to relate, I guess. And uh, this texter wrote a very interesting uh, note here. It's more than tasteless, it's bullying. If a kid did that to someone at school, they'd be expelled. PKP is the worst kind of human being. He's a rich boy who's never had to explain what he does or say to anyone, and you can tell every time he opens his mouth. And, you know, this goes back also to uh, pre-election days, I guess, Elise and Supriya, when uh, he didn't want to, you know, have uh, reporters asking questions. You know, and now. I'm sorry? It's the same thing now. He's not giving interviews. He's saying all this stuff on Facebook and refuses to meet uh, with any reporter. So that, that's very telling. Yeah, it's just it's just sad, but again, it comes down to the bottom line whether or not it's going to affect him at the polls. And we're look, we're what three, four years away from another election, four, I guess at least, uh, if not five. And you know, people are this is going to be water under the bridge at that point because I suspect between now and then he will say at least one or two more pretty controversial and ridiculous things uh, that you and I and others will be talking about on and on and on. So, anyways, I you know I'm almost running out of things to say about this guy again. Dirty politics is one thing but this was this is just you know no, no. and if heaven forbid if he loses a family member or a friend or somebody like that i would suspect that the premier would offer some sincere condolences i would like to think that at least uh we're coming up to 12 15 in traffic time chris is going to check out uh, what's happening on the roads for you it is 12 15 and then what do you think of city services according to the uh, city of montreal they're doing a pretty good job for the most part a survey was taken but are you impressed with the services the city supplies to you. 12.15 is the time you can send your texts to 514-800, FYI. And this is Chris Reiser at the CJAD 800 Traffic Center. Chris. Barry picked up a stall uh, between the 15s eastbound on the Metropolitan, which is backing things up through the Cary Circle and actually down uh, the Cary Expressway right now. We're seeing volume from the bottom to the top. Southbound to Cary works better. When you get up onto the Metropolitan, uh, eastbound you're okay right after uh, Rockland, but uh, westbound heavy, almost end-to-end, -end, let's say from uh, uh, Veal all the way back, at least, to the Cary Circle. As far as the uh, access points to the South Shore are concerned, the uh, route down the 25 South from the Anjou Interchange to the La Fontaine Tunnel, heavily traveled right now. Inbound is working much better. No problems that we can see on the Carche or the Victoria. A little bump near Nuns Island, outbound for the Champlain, but inbound is clear. And, of course, the Mercier is trouble both sides, particularly outbound right now. You're all the way back to the 20 and very slow going through the Whiskey Trench. Test drive a Mitsubishi during the Get to Know Mitsubishi event. Low lease rates available on select vehicles. Hurry to your local dealer right now. That's Mitsubishi. Both better and back better. Traffic and transit every 15 minutes from CJAD 800. Next report at 1230. No one likes a what-if question. Like, what if a loved one can no longer live alone? Chateau Dollard has the answer. The finest care, devoted staff, all in the cozy West Island setting for 25 years. Call 514-685-4444 or visit ChateauDollard.com. Call 1-800-GOD-JOKE. It's the right call to make. My 1-800-GOD-JOKE boys can do the flash. That would take you a whole week.
event, it's like there's no tax on top brand appliances like LG, Samsung, Whirlpool, GE, KitchenAid, and more. Let's get great prices right now at the Boxing Week in July appliance event. Let's do this. The Home Depot. More saving, more doing. On the Rand Wednesday, July 15th, while quantities last. Taxes and delivery fees extra. See store or homedepot.ca for details. Come see us on Parry at the Carry. Gamst, we're framing as an art. Hey, babe. 